Well, new at 11, a brave victim fighting for justice once again. Now, she's trying to lengthen the amount of time a rape victim has to take her attacker to court. Our Jennifer Dowling has more on a proposed bill and why it's been an uphill battle. Jennifer? Well, Jeff, currently, if a case lacks DNA evidence and you are raped, your attacker must be caught and brought to justice within a six year time frame or he goes free. She wants to lengthen that time frame to 20 years. However, she says some lawmakers are against the longer time. Don't underestimate the fact that you don't see the scars that I, I can't show them to you, but they're there and they're hideous and they will never leave me in this life. Danielle Tudor was barely 17 years old when she said Richard Gilmore was jogging through her neighborhood stalking young girls. I heard the, the doorknob twisting and I looked at it. She said she was home alone when Gilmore kicked in the door without a mask. And we just locked eyes and he didn't have anything over his face. So he turned around and ran, which. But he came back with a weapon while she was on the phone with 911, beating her, then raping her. And he was swinging the stick, taking out the lights, and I was screaming. And he just told me, shut up or I'm going to kill you. Seven years later, he was captured, but the six year statute of limitations to charge him had run out. She says rape victims in 2015 faced the same tragedy of justice. And over half the states in the country do not have any statute of limitations. House Bill 23. 17 was originally written to lengthen the six year statute of limitations to 20 years and received good support. But Tudor said someone took the teeth out of it with an amendment scaling it back to 12. Senator Posansky told me, you know, I'm not going to change from 12. So Tudor has ramped up her lobbying efforts and has this vow for victims. I know what's right and I know what's fair, and I'm not going to give up. I'm going to fight to the bitter end, whatever that takes. We reached out to Senator Prozanski on his views on the statute of limitations and to answer questions on why he might prefer a 12 year time frame at this point, but I have not heard back as of news time tonight. Back to you, Jeff. Okay, and if we do get a statement, uh, we'll put that on the news. Jennifer, thank you.